Oh, look, check this out. Three guys I work with got fired yesterday. I repeat, three guys I work with, they got fired yesterday. And it's not the not the fact that they got fired, because they was horse playing and they damaged some equipment, so it, that's on them. But it's, it's what happened today. Again, they got fired yesterday, eight hours into the shift. I'm sorry, eight hours and a half into the shift, they got fired because they broke something while they was horse playing. From my understanding, what they broke, it was like 30,000 to work, 30. What happened is that it was this plate. Y'all might not be familiar, be familiar with this language. It was a plate on the come along with a winch and they was winching it down and they was horse playing, playing with it. One of the winches broke, plate fell, damaged some uh, the little railing on stairs, damaged the railing both sides, doom, doom. Hit another wall, put a dent in it, doom, doom. Went down the next stairs. Long story short, they got fired. But the other guy, three guys, two of them, all three of them got fired, but one guy decided to double back today and beg for his job back. Listen, if y'all have never seen a man beg for his job, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing is what it is. It is embarrassing. You wanna know why he was begging for his job? Because he's living paycheck to paycheck and he don't know what else to do. I was in that predicament. Shoot, I'm listen, I'm broke today. Look, I can pull up my checking account. Y'all be like, man, where your money at, bro? I'm broke today. If I, listen, you have to be prepared as a man. I don't know if I told y'all. Remember, y'all remember when I told y'all that safety man was trying to write me up and I told him I wasn't going to sign that write up? And I say it. If he come to me tomorrow, I'd be like, either you gonna sign this right up or you fired. The day he threatened to write me up, instantly I jumped on Indeed and put in three applications. Well, bro, why you put in an application? The grass about to start growing. Listen, I need four more paychecks out this job. I need four more. And I went, listen, I'm not letting nobody stop my plans. I'm, letting nothing, I'm not letting nobody stop my plans. I need four more paychecks to take these four paychecks, pay my mortgage up to September. That is my plan. I'm not letting him or nobody else stop that. So my plan was, hey, he fired me. Shoot, he fired me on a uh, Wednesday. I go ahead and put this app in. Friday, I'm burning for somebody else. Y'all hold on, I'm about to go break this dude, Joe. And y'all got to forgive me, man. I always run up here to the, ran up here to the doggone convenience store to give me some candy. I'm on my lunch break at work. Well, anyway, I was prepared to get to get fired because my mind, I said, man, look, I'm gonna, they got to fire me. I'm gonna run over here, grab this other welding job, paying $36 an hour, mandatory seven days a week. I banged that out for 21 days and I quit. Well, anyway, push come to shove. I didn't get fired. They, they just, whatever. All right, now look, check this out. If you never seen a man beg for his jaw, it's it's, it's it's sad. It wanted to, man, I wanted to break down, and start crying when I seen that. So anyway, I'm telling you, it's sad, bro, to watch a grown man beg for his job. Guess what? He ain't get a job back. Is this cop trying to pull me over? <laughs> He better, he better, the only way gonna get his job broke. So look, as a man, you have to be prepared in life. Nobody is coming to save you. I said it once, I'm gonna say it again. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? That guy wasn't prepared. It don't matter if you live in check to check. Always see who's hiring, man. I'm telling you, they fire me tonight. If I come back after lunch and say, hey man, pack your bags. You left your gas running. You got it? So lady right now just emailed me asking me, am I still interested in this job paying $35 out? I'm going to call it. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready. What can I test? Okay, Mr. Gibson. Send me your info. 
I have to call it Monday morning. Send your info. Send my info today. Wednesday morning, I'm taking the test. That same day, Wednesday, I'm gonna take that test so fast where I can doggone do my drug test and physical the same day. Thursday, I'm orientation. Friday, I'm burning. Friday, I'm burning, man. Burning. You have to keep your head on a doggone swivel. It's sad to see a grown man beg for a job, man. I said, God, I said, golly. I thought I was a prank at first. He said, listen, man. I'm sorry. You got rid of them speak English. He said, listen, man. I'm sorry. And I can assure you, this will never happen again. The guy said, I know, I know, I know they, they, the other guy said. I know it ain't gonna happen again, doggone it, cause we fired you. I said, oh, dang. Please, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, please. I have wife. I have kids. Please, Mr. Brown. Should've thought about that for you up there, doggone playing. Well, look here. Say it, man. Say it. All they gotta do, go get them another job. Mm. All I can say, good thing it's not Christmas. Y'all remember that other guy I told y'all got fired <laughs> two weeks ago, Christmas? Y'all remember that guy? He still ain't got a job. Look, he wouldn't have put an application in. But see, He's in, con he's in contact with a guy I work with still. I said, man, you heard from old boy? This is what he said. He said, yeah, man, he called me the other day. He said he put an application in at such and such. But this company and that company are two sister companies and they want to hire him. I said, no, it ain't. I said, no, it ain't, bro. I said, bro, I ain't no sister company, bro. He just ain't got that dog in him to go get a job. He said, well, man, that's what he told me. You see, a guy like that will let one job ruin his life. That guy got fired two weeks before Christmas. He still ain't got a job. Then he talking about do what he said now. That's why I say, as a man, you need to have a doggone trade under your belt. This is what that guy said. Well, I'm going to go on over here to Dollar General since they hired. That was some candy, y'all. Dollar General since they hired is better than nothing. Bro, I'm a, look, bro, I'm going to be honest. If you go from sixteen hundred a week to working at Dollar General, you off, bro. You off. This is a man with no skill or trade. This is what happened. This is what happened when you chase women your whole life, party, get drunk, get high. In the end, you wake up with nothing. In the end, you wake up on somebody's job fired begging to get your job back and then you wake up at Dollar General. Right now we're looking at Dollar General. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. As a man with kids, if you're not the doggone general manager, area coach, you got no business in Dollar General. No business. <clears throat> That's sad, bro. That man beg for his job. Please, Mr. Brown, please. Mr. Brown, please, please, I'll do anything. Mr. Brown, I'll do anything. Pack your stuff and get out of here. Uh -huh.
It's sad, bro. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody. Nobody. Better wake up out here. This is a set look. Time waits for no man.